everyone welcome back to be with the tea but before i get into this tea take a listen on 50 shades of day her channel is about being yourself and loving the life that you have been dealt on her youtube channel you can find a wide variety of videos including motherhood advice reactions story times vlogs challenges and try new foods and recipes if you enjoy this type of content please go to her channel in the link provided below it's the season to be supportive subscribe now okay so drake is a serious lover boy it seems like he's dated every woman in the industry we know that drake loves the ladies now what he also does is make them sign an nda so they can't say anything or go to the blogs about their business well one lady is alleging that she went to drake's house to have some fun and he got upset with her about her pulling out her phone but take a listen so last month, Drake had flew me out. So I have made a video and I posted it on my Instagram story. It was a video of me inside a purple lingerie set. And I had tagged Drake inside my story, but I tagged him and I like made it real small so nobody could know that I had tagged him in my story. So I did not know that he was going to even seek it. I'm not even going to lie. So he had texted me in vanish mode and was like, what's your number? With the hard eyes emoji. So I sent my number. Quick. So he called my phone, we chopped it up or whatever. And that's when he was like, he trying to see me. And I was like, I'm trying to see you too. So he had booked my flight for the November 16th. Mind y'all, we texting, talking, all of that, November 13th. So fast forward, I got off the plane. He had sent a private out to get me. But before I went inside his house, they made me sign an NDA. So I can't really say too much, but I had looked at my NDA rules. So I know what I can and can't say. You feel me? So when I get in the house, we just sitting on the couch, chilling, talking. He kept on rubbing on my stomach and kept on asking questions like, do you want kids? And I'm like, what you trying to say? Like, if you want, if you want a baby mama, me, just say that. <laughs> he just kept on rubbing on my stomach, asking me, do I want kids? I was like, yeah, I want one. I want a little boy. So we watch a movie. We drinking Casamigos. Then y'all know. Casamigos bring out the freak up. <laughs> so y'all know we did what we did. I don't have to go in detail about that because it's self-explanatory. But he did not use protection, which was a little weird. But y'all know I'm just going with the flow. So after we did what we did, we just cuddling and we're watching another movie. So everything went left when I pulled my phone out. So I had pulled my phone out and I had recorded him. And as soon as he seen me recording him, he slapped my phone out my hand. I'm not even going to lie. I got a little scared because that slap was aggressive. But after he had slapped the phone out my hand, he was like, you got to go. I was like, just because I recorded you, really? But I had posted the video on my Instagram. All the receipts is on my Instagram. So I don't got time for y'all to be like, I'm lying and all of that. Because what do I have to lie for? Moral of the story. Don't pull your phone out. So this is what I'm not understanding. And it's not only her. I see this a lot. I see a lot of women. They'll get that opportunity to deal with that celebrity that they want to deal with. And they let their excitement get in the way. And I'm strictly talking to the ladies that are always trying to play the game with the celebrities. I'm not talking about people who want to get married and all of that. I'm referring to the girls who want to play the game. They are always messing up their bag because they want to be able to show other people that they're talking to this person or dealing with this person. Just play it cool. Now he's not going to deal with her anymore. And she could have messed up some really good benefits. I'm just saying. But do I agree with the way he responded by aggressively slapping the phone out of her hand? Absolutely not. I know that was probably a really scary moment for her. And I know the reason she probably pulled out her phone is because she was excited and all of these different things. So no, I do not agree with that. And thankfully, he wasn't the type of guy to take things to the next level. He just told her that she had to go. But I do wanna know what you guys feel about this whole situation. So leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to 50 shades of day i will have the link in my description box below but that's all i have for you guys and i will talk to you later